Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a exciting video. This is kind of like an update on my no buy slash my haul um, slash I got a haircut. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So you know how you see like haircuts that you want in like magazines and stuff and you're like Pinteresting and you're like, oh my gosh, like can this person like cut my hair the way I want them to? And so I had seen my friend have a, has a really beautiful blunt bob. It's so gorgeous on her and she's gorgeous. And so she had tagged the hairstylist and I was like, who is this person? Can they cut my hair? Will I look like a magical unicorn? And so I finally got in um, to get a haircut and so I got it cut. My hair, it, I need to color it, it's bad because my like DIY dye job. <laughs> You know, um, there's like patches of blonde in my hair. Anyway, I love the haircut so much. Um, and I'm filming like fresh from the salon because I wanted to preserve this because who knows if tomorrow will come and I won't be able to make it look like this ever again. So yeah, if you guys like this haircut and if you're in the Fargo-Moorhead area, let me know in the comments because I can definitely let you know the deets of the hairstylist. I don't want to like put it down there if you guys aren't interested so just let me know. Other than that, so I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about May and my little no buy that I decided to do. So I decided to go on a no buy uh, May 7th through June 7th and after I saw some of the products you're going to see in this video, I was like nope my no buy is absolutely fucked and I decided to call it quits um, and I'm not too traumatized by it. I know a lot of people get hate when they announce a no buy and then it doesn't like pan out the way they planned or they break it. Um, I didn't. I got no hate actually I think and some people were so nice and they were like it's your money do whatever you want. Um, some people were like hey at least you know you can like not buy something which was really sweet too so people were super encouraging so um for me i was like definitely one of those people that didn't want to do a no buy because i was like ah i'm gonna break it i know i'm gonna break it and then people are gonna get bad at me and so if you feel that way i would say honestly like people are nicer than you think also i do have a smaller following so maybe i just have like magical you know fairy godmother subscribers that are just so nice um so that was a positive and then the other thing I learned was that I can actually say no, which was great um, because I'm totally one of those people that don't restrict what I buy. If I see it and I like it, I buy it and that's not always healthy. So I was actually able to stop myself from buying Blue Moon when it came out because that's what I do. I'll like buy $30 worth of stuff so I can get free shipping and I'll buy what I want and then I'll add like two, three other things from ColourPop just to hit free shipping. Sometimes I use a coupon and then sometimes you can use Afterpay if you spend $35. So they really get you on even sites like ColourPop um, hook, line, and sinker. And it's kind of depressing because yeah, it's a $30 order, but $30 times four, now you're $120 in the hole. If they launch something every week and you want something every week, then here you are. So. I had made the mistake with the watermelon collection. I was like, oh my god, like there's so many cute things. And so I bought like the palette because I was like, of course I need to have the palette. And then I was like, oh, let me get um, a lipstick set because I really wanted like an orange lip for the summertime. So then they had a matte lipstick bundle because I was like, why not? And then I really wanted one of the ultra blotted and those weren't sold individually. You had to buy the ultra blotted with a lip. Uh, lip gloss so I bought that set then I really wanted to try one of those like glitterly much jelly obsessed little pots and so I bought one of those and like a blush and like lo and behold my little order turned into like a $60 order on Colourpop so then I placed that order and then Blue Moon launched and I'm like are you kidding me like if I just waited one more week I could have bought the one red eyeshadow palette 
and the one blue eyeshadow palette I wanted and maybe one of the ultra blotted sets and I would have been set for $30. But no, instead I jumped the gun, I placed a $60 order and now I was looking at potentially placing another order of $30 to get free shipping and I didn't want to buy it just the palette alone because paying for shipping on ColourPop is like a sin in my opinion because it's so affordable like I'd rather get product instead of paying like the $5 shipping so I refused to do that and then I was like you know what Karen you're just gonna have to wait like you're just gonna have to wait like a normal person you know ColourPop it's their birthday month they're probably gonna launch one more thing before their birthday and so I waited and then they did launch something they launched their sticks their um, stick blushes and highlights and it was perfect so I bought my blue moon which also was conveniently sold out like you couldn't buy just the palette when the sticks launch but then it was back to being available after the sticks launch it was super weird so I had to buy the palette with the lip gloss I didn't have to buy it I just bought it because I wanted that palette and now was my chance and then I bought a set of the sticks so it worked out but you know, that kind of stuff happens to us all the time. I was talking to people on Instagram that it happens to all the time. Um, my friend Vanessa had placed a huge ColourPop order with the Watermelon Collection, and she wants the Blue Moon palette too. So it's so sucky that ColourPop knows that they can exploit that. And so I was pretty proud of myself for just waiting until I knew more stuff launched. And then the other thing I also said no to was the... ABH palette with Alyssa Edwards like I am like one of the people that will totally buy an ABH palette the day it launches on ABH's website and Anastasia Beverly Hills used to be so good about their shipping because when they launched a palette you would usually people would get them like a day or two after or they would get them you know pretty quick and so you didn't even have to pay like for the expedited shipping but I think they caught on to how good their shipping was and now they actually charge extra for like two day delivery like five bucks or something and it's not a whole lot of money but I'm like why should I pay five dollars more just so I can have it here just so I can like be one of the 800th reviews of an ABH palette on YouTube you know it's just not worth me paying that money um so the last time when I ordered the Riviera palette I didn't pay for the expedited shipping and it took like over a week for my palette to get here and I was honestly so disappointed because that is not normal um, for ABH because I was so used to like my orders coming in a couple of days later and so this time I was like you know what I'm not gonna pay extra shipping I'm not gonna not pay extra shipping and just wait around for the palette like when the Riviera launched I had waited so long that it was available at Sephora before my like ABH order came so I literally sent the palette right back because I was like I already bought it at Sephora like I don't need um, this palette anymore so that was really disappointing so I waited and I not only waited until it got to Sephora I waited not only did I wait until it got to Sephora I waited and so long that it actually sold out on sephora.com and then um, it was gone and I was like oh well I guess I'll have to wait until it comes to Ulta I wasn't sure when it was coming to Ulta but it was a couple of days after it launched on Sephora and I was like you know what it's fine like I can't get it on Sephora anyway and then I got so lucky because Macy's was having a 15% off sale sorry I had to stop filming for a second because my dog started barking but basically I was telling you guys that Instead of paying full price for this Anastasia palette, I was able to save some money and get it on Macy's. So I was really pumped about that. And it's just so nice to be able to do that. So that was another thing I learned. I'm trying to think of what else I learned on my no buy. I think those were really the two big ones. Yeah, I mean, would I do it again? Of course I would do it again. I just don't know when. I think for now I'm just gonna try and say like low buy and like try to say no to things it's definitely still hard because I love makeup so much and I love having new products to show you guys and feature and stuff like that but I've also kind of been like you know wondering what else to film and like I want to come up with new different ideas so if you guys have any ideas for me 
definitely let me know down in the comments. I feel like I'm definitely one of those like old school YouTubers that still love to film haul videos and will I buy videos and chit chatty videos and like for the longest time I didn't even really like to film get ready with me's but now I love to do it so much because I feel like you can really see me use the palette and I've gotten good feedback from people that really just seem to enjoy the fact that I don't do like crazy makeup looks which is great because that's really truly who I am I don't do like really difficult stuff because I'm like a regular human being and I love to play with makeup and this is the makeup I wore to work today so yeah it's just been really fun um the low buy was a great experiment um there's so many great low buy no buy budget channels now so I definitely don't want to say that if you're looking for that kind of content, this is the channel for you. Um, but I just thought it would be fun to share some things that I had learned on my low buy, even though it was very short-lived. And oh yeah, another good thing I guess too is, and this one you hear from people all the time, is just not to pay attention to like sites like Trend Mood and stuff, which is so so helpful because you don't want to constantly be like bombarded with images of what's happening so definitely like unsubscribing from trend mood unsubscribing from some of those emailers and things like that um is always good and it definitely gave me a little bit of time to play with what i had or have in my collection i still definitely have a long long way to go um but yeah it was fun and i would totally do it again so yeah, let me know if you guys, you know, have done low buys. Let me know your tips. Share amongst us down below. Because dream work makes the teamwork. I said that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. But I love you guys so much. And yeah, this was supposed to be my haul video. But I'm just going to keep this as a low buy update. And I'm going to, or a no buy update video weird whatever I decide to do with this um, and my haul video will be next or before this or after this or whatever so I will catch you guys in my next one soon bye